Hello everybody and welcome to another Minecraft Bedrock tutorial. In this video today we have an awesome design for an XOR gate which you can make not only in Minecraft Bedrock Edition, which we're in now, but also in Java Edition. So it's actually a cross-platform redstone build. Now through the course of this video not only will I be showing you how to make an XOR gate, but I'm also going to be explaining what it is and how we can use that in our Minecraft builds. But I'm not going to be doing it here in this hideous open flat world, we're going to go somewhere rather special. Welcome everybody to my lab. So this is my new redstone lab. Now as I'm showing you around I'm going to briefly explain what an XOR gate is. So an XOR gate is a circuit with two inputs and one output. Now if the inputs match our output is off and if they don't match our output is on. Now if you don't quite understand that, that's okay. <laughs> so here is the equation of how an XOR gate works. 0 plus 0 equals 0, 1 plus 0 equals 1, 0 plus 1 equals 1, and 1 plus 1 equals 0. Now if that's still confusing, have a look at the top and the bottom one. As you can see that both of the inputs are both the same, which means our output is 0. And on the second and third one you can see that the outputs are different from each other, so the output is 1, which will be on. Now let's put that into Minecraft terms with our second infographic here. So as you can see with the levers and the top one, both levers are off, so our redstone lamp is off. Our second one, the first lever is on, but the second one is off, which makes our redstone lamp turn on. The third one is the, sec is the inverse of the second one, so off plus on equals on. And the last one is the, probably the most confusing one, on plus on equals off, because they are matching. So if the levers are matching, it will always turn off. If they are not matching, it will always turn on. But what does that mean for our redstone builds? Well, if we had a door and an XOR gate underneath it, we could have a lever on one side of the door and a lever on the other side of the door. And no matter what you do with those two levers flicking on and off, that door will never get stuck open or closed. They will completely work independently from each other. And that is the sole purpose, really, that we use XOR gates in Minecraft. So that's how it works and why we need to build it. So without further ado, let's get on with this tutorial. So for this truly amazing build you are going to need two droppers, one hopper, one comparator, one rubbish block, two observers, two redstone dust, three blocks for your redstone to go on, one repeater, and two levers. So to build it all we have to do is place down a dropper first like this facing upward, one here, a hopper going into that bottom dropper. Now go on top of this dropper, press crouch and place a comparator here, place three blocks like this out a repeater here, dust here and dust here. Now we want the observers going anywhere into this redstone dust. So just for convenience sake I'll put them on top. So let's make them facing downward like that. Then place down our two levers, which should be off at the moment, and then place your rubbish block in here. So now to test this design, so at the moment both of our levers are off, so our output is off. We flick the lever, now our output is on because these levers do not match. Then we make them match and our output is off. And as you can see they are completely working independently from each other. So why would you build my XOR gate over a traditional XOR gate like this? Now I'm not getting at this design or the designer, I think this is brilliant. Actually I don't even know who the designer is, <laughs> but I love this design. I would never come up with anything like this, I think it's great. And it's really quick too. But the reason I wouldn't build something like this is because it is not very versatile. So if you had a door above us, say, and then you needed to hook up an XOR gate into that door, this is an extremely bulky circuit, especially to be, say, in survival or anything like that. Where in this one, you can put the T flip flop sides of this, just these three things here underneath your door and then have the redstone line running wherever you like with the observers meeting at any point. It's much more versatile than something like this. But like I said, I'm not getting at this design, I like it. <laughs> so what I'm going to do now is just going to build a few doors and show you how easy it is to wire up this XOR gate into those doors. So here is a typical 3x3 piston door. It's made by the Bowtie Man, it's a 
very good YouTube channel. <laughs> Highly recommend it. <laughs> and I have put down here um, the XOR gates. Now it looks slightly different because basically I've run the repeater on both sides to keep it nice and streamlined with the door. So it basically works the same. We both have a repeater going into the top dropper with an observer on both repeaters, dust behind the observer, and then the levers up here. So it's quite easy to follow, just like that. Then the comparator going into that bottom block. You may be wondering, well, where do I put the comparator into? Well, place the comparator where the lever normally is. So in this door, normally the lever goes here. So that is our input point. So that is where the comparator will go to. Technically, this is actually not an XOR gate anymore. It's an XNOR gate because you have a torch here, but don't worry about that. <laughs> so at the moment, it is closed. So we flick the lever, and as you can see, our door will open. And then we can go through. And even though that one is now on, we can flick this lever and it will still close. Then again, we can open it from this side if we want to. Then if we want, we can close it from this side. And as you can see, they're working completely independent from each other. So now looking at a 2x2 piston door, probably the easiest piston door you can make. So our lever points are any of these four blocks here. So what we've done is just place a repeater straight into a block. And then our XOR gate is behind like this. So we, we are probably used to this now. We flick the lever, the door closes. We flick it on this side, the door opens. We can do it again and it works completely independently. The hard bit is just to gather where your lever point is and then just wiring it up. But it's very easy when you know how. Just interrupting the video now to say I have a Twitter. So if you want to follow me over there, that would be great. Sorry to interrupt the video, now back to it. <laughs> The last thing I want to show you before we finish is that if you have multiple inputs to your door, you can do this with this XOR gate. I know it won't be an XOR gate anymore if you have more than two, but don't worry. <laughs> so if you can imagine, this is your, if you have a door here, at the end of here, so we have it on, then we click this one, and it'll turn off, on, and as you can see, they're completely working independently of each other. So you can have as many as you like. And this is the end of the tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. If you did like this video or like my design, please give us a like. And if you really loved it, make sure you subscribe with that wonderful subscribe button for more awesome content. And also, if you like this new like lab I'm doing the tutorials in, please let me know that as well. <laughs> anyway, I'll catch you guys in the next one, and I'll see you later. Bye! Yeah.